Genetics scan everybody who goes in and out of the station and compares their genetic signature with the database. If you haven't paid your fare, the alarm goes off and the cops show up. Never a good thing. Alright, we're gonna go for... I'll get a weekly pass, just in case. A week pass. Scan the eyes! Let's see. According to the instructions, I push a button with a stylized hand, wave my cash card in front of the round thingy, and then stand still for Good. Stand still. Well, let's stand still for a while, shall we? Knit. Wee! $15 subtracted from cash card. You are now free to travel on all Metro Line subways for exactly one week. And remember, genetic forgery is a federal crime. Keep your genes clean. Have a nice day. Keep your genes clean. Let's see. There's a high voltage cable running parallel with the rail, and something's gotten stuck between them. Looks like a large iron key. Well, let's see. rubber glove, but it's pretty useless with that big hole in it. Uh, I don't think I can do anything yet. Well, let's go into the train. Ah, glitchy. It's black screen for me, too, so don't worry. Ah, here we go. Whee! The screen really is ubiquitous. There's no escape anywhere. Sweet old ladies just ain't what they used to be. Is there something to look at? Huh. This is the map. We will be using a lot of this. This is where we were. This is where we want to go. There will be We'll be using this a lot, which is why I got the week pass. Better be safe than sorry. Another victim of Amethyn. Poor guy's drugged out on Amethyn. They say the first motor function to suffer is always rhythm. Poor guy's drugged out on Amethyn. Always rhythm. Alright, this looks like an art exhibition. The Roma Gallery. Hello, sir. Sir. There's another guy with I'll the just face on his shirt. Then, shall I? Yes. Yes, I guess I'll do that. That's a good sculpture. Creature with a snout. Very inspiring. It's a pointy edged swan. There's a dog. There's a dude. Hey, look, it's Cortez. For the life of me, I can't figure out why Cortez wants to meet me. To think of it, I don't want to meet him. I don't know, but let's talk and get this over with. About time you showed up. About time? I spent more than... Mira, this painting. Right here. Look. brought me all the way down here to look at a painting? Yes, but there's more. Just, Just look, look at, at it. it. Look at the painting. Fine. It's nice work. It's very nice. But there's more to it than nice. Keep looking. Who's the artist? A boy named Warren Hughes. Not so long ago, I knew him and his family quite well, but he does not paint anymore. Well, what am I looking for? Let's see. What do you see? A guy and a girl. I see a guy hugging a girl. And? They're probably boyfriend-girlfriend, and she's dumping him. 
He looks really depressed. What? Yes, yes. Forget the story. What do you see? Um. I see an oil painting of two humans locked in an embrace. Duh. That's all you see? But there's so much more. Look. Look. I see art. Art, yes. And beyond that. Beyond art. Um, fine. Um... Technique? Technique is what enables an artist to create art. Oh, whoops, sorry, didn't mean to skip that. Uh, that's okay, you guys can read it. Truth? Truth, exactly. A deeper truth. This painting, this particular work of art, speaks a deeper truth. It's kind of interesting how it's it windowed. How can a painting have a soul? It has a soul because it has an identity. It has a heart. The memory of this painting will survive beyond this moment. It will linger in your mind. Become part of the tapestry of your subconscious. My weaving loom's going a little bit too fast right you. now. And you're not quite painting, sure why. painting, 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 painting. It's just a painting by some kid. It's not as if it's a Picasso or a Monet. Now you're arguing technique. Not every painting by Van Gogh or Michelangelo is a real art either, although they all demonstrate great technique and, and craftsmanship. And the scribbled drawings of a five-year-old child are really technically impressive, but they may still have a soul. They may still be real art. So you're saying real art is not defined by the skill of the artist? Then what is art? If just Anybody can create something more real than artists who spent their entire lives developing their skills. Art is still the work of artists, and skill, craftsmanship. Technique. My art is writing. Those things are critical to the success of an artist's work. But alone, those things are merely pretense. For something to be real, to be truthful, the artist must transfer, shift part of him or herself into the work to transcend the illusion and reach for the truth of art. He's your soul. Like a horror art? crux. Who knows? I've been asking myself that question for years. And years, and years. Excuse me? You don't even know? And what's all this about all the questions and lectures on truth and delusion? For that matter, why did you ask me to come down here in the first place? Because... Actually, you didn't even ask me to come down. I spent my entire afternoon traveling all over Venice, deciphering a cryptic message, spending money I don't have on a subway ticket, only to have to stand here and listen to... to... You saw something this afternoon. A waking dream, and you can't explain it. That's why you are here, isn't it? Well, damn, you read me right up. I mean, hot damn. How the hell do you know these things? It's as plain as the day, Senorita Ryan. You're under a lot of stress. My point about art and truth is this, April. Some things look real, but are not. And other things may appear to be of no consequence at all, but are in fact invaluable. Like Warren's painting here, and your dreams. Uh -huh. There is both truth and illusion in dreams, and in the images they create. The problem is in sorting the one from the other. You're telling me my dreams are true? They are true. I'm telling you there are things afoot, and that you need help in sorting the truth from the illusions. My help. Well, that figures. Good. I was hoping you'd understand. Uh. No. Actually, I didn't understand a single word. You talk about art, and truth, and dreams, and illusions, and I still don't understand what it all has to do with me. There are things happening. Yes, and I came here because I thought, maybe you're crazy enough to believe me, to help me. I don't know, sort through the debris and come up with the plausible explanation. You're just crazy. No, you tell me my dreams might be true, that I need your help, and that there are things afoot. I mean, who says afoot? I've never heard anybody use the word before. There are things afoot. Yeah, hit. Está bien. I understand your reluctance to believe me, senorita. But I cannot convince you here. Now, meet me tomorrow. Why? Right. Meet me tomorrow, and I will tell you everything. 
Not again. No way. But you will. Because you are compelled to do so by your own curiosity. But, but, but she wasn't because that curious. To mystery. And because despite your skepticism, you believe I have the answer to all your questions. Yes? No. No, I don't care. I just want to have a normal life. No nightmares, no visions, no strangers telling me that things are afoot. Comprende, amigo? Not mine, feet. I just left Adios, them. Is that the time? I've got to run, Senorita Ryan. I'll see you tomorrow then. I said goodbye. It's walking away so slowly. Like, go tackle him or shoot him or something. Put a push pin in his butt. Another conversation in the log. Cortez at the gallery. This is a pretty long game. Uh, it's, I think, I want to say 7 to 12 chapters. I'm not remembering exactly. Um, 13 chapters. How about that? We're making good progress so far. Hopefully this won't be too long of a let's play. If it is, then just bear with me again anyways. Ah, the old lady's not there. The dude's not there. Let's go back home, shall we? Do -do -do. Newport Transit System. It's not one system anymore, though. All the different lines are owned by different companies. This is the Metro Line, and I believe it's run by Wakamba Mercer. Everyone owns everything. Competition. Wasn't well, that sexy? Just got your legs up there, like. Do me, do me. Go inside, shall we? Ah, chop the save real quick. Wee. Let's save it here. Let's Hi, stop Charlie. Charlie. What's up, April? I don't think he has anything new. I'll see you later, Charlie. Later. I'm all scrubbed and ready to work, sir. He'll be on the floor tonight, honey. Start taking orders. Woo woo! Sorry, you couldn't see that. Um, well now we're getting to chapter two! Through the looking glass. I know you guys, uh, can't see it, but I've let me hear it. I've got to find Cortez and get him to explain what the hell's going on. Insane or not, he's the only person I can talk to about this. Sorry you guys didn't get to see her working. I mean, she's supposed to be working, but that's okay. Technically, if I do, uh, figure out how to record these videos, these ones here, like all of them, I will... I'll put them in a separate video, I promise, and show you guys what's going on. They're actually pretty spiffy animations. Alright, let's get going. What's Fiona doing? Suck. morning. Did you ever question your own sanity, April? I mean, did you ever wonder if you were going mad? <laughs> I'm quite certain I am insane. I'm not trying to amuse you, April. I'm really serious. Sorry, yeah. Yeah, I felt like that many times. Then explain it to me. How do you deal with it? Do you lock it away inside yourself, or do you talk to someone about it? Because I'm at a loss here, April. I don't know what to do. Deep stuff. You have to give me more to go on than that. I don't know how I can put it into words. What I saw. What 
did you see? Last night, right here in this room, Mickey and I, we were watching a movie, a documentary about the new synthetic rainforests in Mexico. <laughs> wow. You know, the ones that produce eight times the oxygen of the original organic forests. I've heard about, but I'm digressing. Anyway, about halfway through the movie, like I said, I'm probably going completely bonkers. This room became a, a... It was more like a vision, really, and I'm sure it wasn't holographic. Wait, what? What kind of vision? This room turned into a forest. What? That's quite a room to turn like into a forest. forest. Go to a hollow theater. Have Star Wars blaring all around me. I don't think you're going crazy. Yeah. Thanks, darling. I still wish there was some explanation for what I saw. Last night at the cafe, right in front of everybody, this creature appeared out of thin air. Oh yeah, and the Just creature like appearing out of thin air. It was only there for a few seconds and then it disappeared, but everybody saw it. Everybody. Oh my. What's going on, love? I don't scare easily, but this is really getting to me. The veil between know. the dream and the real. Is, I think. I'm pretty sure. Cortez is involved. Cortez? How is he involved? That old codger. I don't know that either. I'd love to find out, though. What other weird things have happened lately? Little things, like movement in the corner of your eye that's gone when you turn your head. That's a vampire. And noises. The kind you're not supposed to hear in the city. Animal noises. Wild animals. And once, this was very early in the morning, mind, a few days ago, I looked down into the canal and saw what looked like an underwater city. As I looked at it, it dissolved into ripples of water. Underwater city? Scary. Ooh. You're telling me, darling. I'm scared of cockroaches, for God's sake. What do you think this does to my nerves? Have you seen Cortez today? No, darling. I don't think he's around. Do you have any idea where Cortez is? No. Sorry, he could be anywhere. Well, he does enjoy going uptown to watch old movies in some revival cinema, but where that is, I wouldn't know. Well... Oh, no. Perhaps Zack. He is, after all, the self-appointed film expert around here. You should talk to him, darling. But, but I Great. don't want Zach, to. my very best friend in the whole wide world. Could you tell Cortez I'm looking for him? Certainly, darling, if I happen to see him. Thanks. Well, I have to get going. Take care of yourself. Bite the bullet. Time. We have to go upstairs. No, that's Zach's room. I've never been in there, and I pray I never will. I never imagined I'd be doing this in a million years. The arsehole. Well, well, what do you know? The princess comes knocking after all. Don't get your hopes up. I think you're the one who's got her hopes up, babe. And you better hope I don't slam this door in your face. Uh -huh. Just do me one favor first, okay? Well, give me a reason to, babe. A reason? You want a reason? Okay. What about a date? Yeah. Good. Tonight. Uh, sure. Tonight. I'll meet you at the... 
pavilion, was it? And, uh, are you gonna put out? What? Well, I mean, if I'm gonna use my VIP passes and my pills, babe, I just gotta know if it'll be worth it or not. You on? We'll see, Zach. Yeah, just don't do a Houdini and vanish on me, babe. If you're a no-show and I wait around for you all night, I end up looking like an asshole. That wouldn't make me very happy. I'll huh. be a good girl and show. Uh -huh. Smart. So, uh, what do you want to know? Where can I find the theater that shows old movies? There are quite a few that do, but only one that runs optical stock. I figure that's the one you want, yeah? Yeah. Why? Because that's where Cortez likes to hang out. And I'm guessing you're trying to hook up with him. No, no. I just need to do some research for a painting. Babe, I'm not a moron. I see you guys together. What are you, his lover? The shriveled old weirdos turn you on? What is it, his accent? His acute lack of fashion? Says the guy in a it's blue shirt and a pro thing. Whatever. Hey, like I give a shit. You're with me tonight. By tomorrow morning, I don't think you'll find that old creep so appealing anymore. <laughs> So, where's Cortez? Uh, uh. When he's not outside reading or whatever the hell he does, he's usually at the Mercury Theater. They show old movies on real celluloid stock through a projector, like in the fucking Middle Ages. Where is this theater located? I don't remember the street it's on. It's been ages since I was there last. But you'll find it if you head out the East Gateway from Metro Circle. Huzzah. It's close to the Radio Power Building, and there are tons of adult stores in the area. Well... Actually, if you're not too busy, you could pick up something for us to watch tonight. Something really filthy. Zach, I don't think... Hey, whatever. I was just kidding, yeah? Babe, you got a major bug up your ass. Get a fucking sense of humor, yeah? <laughs> I'll keep that in mind. Thanks for the tip. And the info. Just be at the pavilion by ten, okay? I don't like waiting around for babies like you. Got a million better things to do. It wouldn't be a good idea for you to ditch me. Not a good idea at all. I can potentially do both, uh, ditching and not ditching. I'll show you the going there first, and then the not going there, which is the one I prefer because it's just much more hilarious. Anything else you wanna? Hi. Yes? What's Metro Circle like? That's the sleaziest and most perverted neighborhood in Newport. On the negative side, however, it's also a dangerous place to hang out. I wouldn't go there alone if I were you. <laughs> I have to get going. Take care of yourself out there, darling. Well, let's go, shall we? Hey, let's go. Hey, let's go. Yeah, Fiona in chapter two. Now we've got Zach got information. It'll save even the tiniest bit of conversation too, which is nice. Also troublesome because then you have to keep track of more conversations and try to remember uh, which one was the important one. Normally the first one is, but you never know in case you forget something. has the combining items effect. I don't think I have anything I can combine just yet. Play monkey. I like trains! I like trains! Let's go! And we're... 
Riding, riding, riding down the road. Oh, yes, we're riding, riding, riding down the road. Let's go to the Metro Circle. You don't have to be alone. Would you believe this is the first thing I saw when I came to Newport? Big city? Gotta love it. Sex to see. Liquid dreams. Metro Circle. Gloriously decadent. I hear Bingo's planning to buy the whole thing. Convert it into a theme park or something. I'll believe it when I see it. Sex to see in Liquid Dreams. Uh, something, something, something bar. And then something dark side. Nothing to look at, so we're going... Well... I mean, we can't go over here yet. As much as I want to, I think. Yeah. Ah, there we go. East Gateway. That's all the big corporate. Thing. Look, it's a hooker. Popular place. Not my crowd, though. I think he's selling something. Counterfeit. Triple strength raptures, probably. Highly addicted and guaranteed to blow your mind. Literally. This guy's the reason they invented the phrase, hitting the bottle. And he's hitting it hard. Well, at least he's not doing anything. Let's go down the street, though. Lots of taxis. See, even futuristic cities can have some. This guy looks like he works at the theater. Women in dire need of medical attention. I thought that was a porno. I guess it's just an artsy foreign flick. As long as they speak French, it, it can't be smut. The box box office is closed. Fuck the fat guy. Excuse me. Yes, huh? Hi, Casablanca. Oh, jeez. Hold on there one second, lady. Dang, Marquis. Light up. Let's see. Light up. Good. Now stay that way, you hear? Do you work at the theater? Yes, um, I'm Freddie. Freddie Mellon. My mama, Mrs. Dottie Mellon, she owns the theater. Yes, yep, she I does. Reckon she does, uh huh. She owns it. And she'd be running it by her own self, like a, a real proprietor. I reckon I help out some, of course. Yep. Love this voice actor. And what do you do, sir? I'm the usher. And I also takes care of sweeping and cleaning up after the show. Of course you do. My mama, Mrs. Dottie Mellon. She says she reckon I'm a regular jack of all trades. I'll tell you <laughs> what, I think she's right about that. Uh -huh. Let's see. Is the theater open now? No, I reckon it ain't, lady. It don't open till this evening. Ain't nobody in there either. I reckon that wouldn't be legal. Well... Do you know a man called Cortez? No. I can't say as I does, lady. Ain't never met him. Now, I reckon I'd like to get on with my sweep, you know? Mm -hmm. But I'm supposed to meet him here. Are you sure you don't know him? Look, lady. I reckon you, you should just mind your own bee's knees and get. I told you, I ain't seen Cortez today. Oh, you said you didn't know Cortez. I, I reckon I don't know nobody by that name, so, so I tell you what. I'd mighty appreciate it if you'd stop bothering me and let me get on with my work. Well, okay then. Jesus, Mary, and baby Joseph. I reckon the whole dang world is, wants to find Cortez today. Thanks, anyway. 
Yeah, some... I'll tell you what. You go on now, and let Freddie Mellon do his sweeping before his mama, Mrs. Dottie Mellon, get all P-I-S-T off. <laughs> Bourbon Festival at the Mercury Theater opens August 1st, 2209. That's on Tuesday. Sounds interesting. Maybe I'll go. Just trash. Lady, don't you keep playing with that thing now, you hear? Leave it be. <laughs> <laughs> Can I, uh, okay, stick in there? Dead and I'm primordial ooze. What do we got here? Uh. Hi there, having fun? Did your mother teach you not to talk to strangers? Yes, yeah, she did. Then what are you doing here? Get lost. Are you on the job? <laughs> yeah. 